Good morning YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Today what I'm going to be doing is building a bike for one of my patrons and that bike is a 2021 Polygon Siskiyou D5. Hey guys, so in a classic fashion, we're gonna do a nice sunshiny driveway build and have to overcome the sound of the crows. So anywho, he got this one from Bikes Online and it retails for $1,099. So that's a really smoking deal for full suspension. So let's see what we got inside. So right off the rip, you can see some really vibrant colors inside. We've got some additional components of some sort. Um, a bag of more goodies. We're gonna get through all this soon and see what it's all about. Pretty nice packaging. But yeah, check it out. Looks pretty good so far. So let's get it out of the box and see what's inside. Looks like it's just one lift. Let's give it a pull. Okie dokie. Then bring it to the grass for just a second so we don't damage anything. First thing I wanna do is get this seat post off so we can get it hung up. up super nice look at all these little velcro straps i might have to might have to keep some of these these could come in super duper handy all right so got it all together for the most part for now so let's get some first impressions going on here now that the bike is fully assembled we'll quickly go through the specs keep in mind that this bike costs only 1099 us dollars it features the ever so popular Shimano MT-201 brakes, which are featured on bicycles twice its price. The tires are provided by Entity, which I believe is an in-house brand for Polygon. The fork is provided by SR Suntour. It is coil sprung and features a sweep adjust lockout. The cockpit features an Entity stem as well as grips, and here you can see the Shimano brake levers and shifters as well. The drivetrain is provided by Shimano. It is their 2x9 Alivio series. You can see the front mech as well as a clutchless rear derailleur for the 9 speeds in the back. The rear shock is provided by SR Suntour. It is an air shock and also features a sweep adjust for lockout. No dropper post here folks, but it does feature internal cable routing if you add one later. The bike features intricate paint which transfers from gloss to matte finishes. All right, so this is the box that came along with it uh, from Bicycles Online. It has a pedal wrench, uh, looks like a really basic torque wrench with some bits, which is a nice thing. Keychain, reflector kit, which we won't be using today. It does have these junky pedals, uh, but also in the box it came with this upgraded set of pedals. I don't know if this was something that my patron paid extra for or if this was included, but these are nice. These are Entity, same in-house brand. It's a composite pedal. Looks like this might be a chromoly spindle, so this is a nice touch. I'm going to get those on. All right, so now the pedals are on. You can see what I'm talking about. These pedals that came with the bike are pretty nice. I would put them, you know, in the same league as a one-up composite or a race face chester. It's a nice construction. Definitely has sealed bearings in it, as it said on the box. And while I was here, I wanted to mention that I saw something else that I really like about this bike at the price point. You don't see this often on the more inexpensive bikes where they mark the torque spec on the bolts. Um, I know that's a tiny thing, but that means a lot to me. I can't tell you how many times I've had to email a bicycle company and try to get the torque values for a specific bolt uh, rather than it just being printed on the bolt. So good job Polygon with that. So I'm gonna do a quick one over on all the functions, the brakes, the shifting, and the suspension before we get into the final shots reel. So I'm gonna knock that out real quick. All right, let's take a gander. We'll start with the rear mech. 
while we're at it, let's check the back brake. Good. Let's check the front brake. Good. It's rubbing a little bit, but I'll fix that. Yeah, rear suspension's not making any weird clicks. Feels pretty supple. Front feels like a standard coil fork. We are out of a lime and a hair, but I'll fix that in a second. And then we'll get into the final shots reel. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for now. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment below so we can start a discussion. Most importantly, I'm still looking for more patrons for the channel to support me as I make these videos for y'all, so consider that as well. The link will be in the description. And I will see y'all on the trail because again, I'm taking this one out for a part two video series for this bike. And yeah, we'll see what it's all about.